Alright, now the battle between Android and iOS rages on and with every new release, it feels like one is taking notes from the other. Well, buckle up because iOS 18 just dropped some features that Android users have been using for ages. And if you are an Android user, you might be laughing at the corner or you may be surprised to see that these features have just made their way to iOS. First one is T9 Dialer, now available on the iOS. All this while on iOS, it was very difficult to search a contact because just by keying in a few numbers, we couldn't really see the existing contact popping up. Only after we key in the complete number, we could see the contact. However, on Android, we could just key in a few numbers and if it is already available in your uh, contact list, it just pops up on the top and you can select the contact number. And now iOS 18 has just got this feature, which is a big relief for the iOS users. Next, the gaming mode. This feature has been there on Android for quite a while now and now the iOS 18 has got gaming mode. This mode gets automatically activated when you play a game on the iOS 18. What this does is, this will improve the gaming performance by pausing the background activity. So this enhances the gaming experience by providing better frame rates and better performance. And this has been there on Android, especially on One UI on the Samsung Galaxy phones. We get something called Game Booster Settings, which offers plenty of options like we can block the calls during game, auto touch protection, we get a floating shortcuts bar, we can customize the screenshot resolution, screenshot formats, and we also get to choose the game optimization settings like performance mode, standard mode, and battery saver mode. That's a pretty advanced Game Booster setting we have got on Android, and on iOS, we just got the basic game mode. Next, we can now hide the applications on iOS 18 and this feature has been there on many Android phones. To enable this feature on iOS 18, we just have to press and hold on an app icon and select this all new option, require face ID. As soon as you select that, the application will get locked. Every time when you want to open the application, it requires the face ID, which is well executed on iOS. And this feature has also been there on the Android phones for quite some time now. Many OEMs offer this feature, except for Samsung. For some reason, Samsung has not implemented this app lock feature yet. And I hope they do that. However, we do have the uh, third party applications which enables the app lock on the Android phones, but a native app lock is really required for the Samsung Galaxy phones One UI. So let's hope that we get this feature on the upcoming One UI 7. Next, finally, on iOS 18, we can now place the application icon wherever we want on the home screen. Now, this was a very, very basic feature which was there on the Android phone since its inception, but iOS never allowed this to happen. They controlled the home screen completely. We could not arrange the app icons anywhere, but now we can arrange the app icons wherever we want, like the Android phones. Now, we can also customize the app icons on the iOS 18. Press and hold on the home screen, tap on edit and tap on customize. We get to choose the dark theme for the icons, light theme as well as tinted option and we can also choose between small or large icons on the iOS 18 now. When it comes to this, on Android phones, we can change the themes, we can use the third party icons, we can increase or decrease the number of icons on the home screen, we do get an app tray. There are plenty of customization options on Android which has been there for quite a while now. Next, when we swipe down the quick panel or let's say control center on iOS 18, we now get a power button or power toggle on the top right corner. Earlier to turn off the iPhone, we had to press and hold on the volume up key and the side key. That's when we get the power off menu. But now on iOS 18, power off button is right there on the top right corner. And this has always been there on Android. And finally, iOS has implemented this. Next, when it comes to widgets, now iOS users will be able to add the widget right from the uh, app settings by pressing and hold on an app icon. You see, when I press and hold on this, we get to select the widgets right here. If at all there are widgets associated with a particular application, it will show up right here and you can just tap on that to expand the app icon into a widget. Now the implementation is different on Android. We do get the widgets uh, when you press and hold on an app icon. You get to choose the widgets and add it to the home screen. Whereas on the iOS 18, the same app icon will expand to a widget, which looks pretty cool. Next, we have got multiple pages now available on the control center, which has been there on the Android phones. As you can see, we can swipe up or down on the control center to access multiple pages. Whereas on Android, we can swipe towards the left or right to see multiple pages. The next feature is a very basic feature which has always been there on Android that is the lock screen toggles. Earlier on the iOS we only had two options at the bottom of the lock screen but now we can press and hold on the lock screen to customize the toggles at the bottom we can select the shortcut that we want but we may not be able to set the third party app icons there however on Android we can select the third party applications as well 
especially on the Samsung Galaxy phones, we have got a good lock module called Lockstar, which enables us to set as many as six different applications at the bottom of the screen, and we can set it in a different layouts as well. Again, this feature has been there on Android, and now it has arrived on the iOS 18. Next, if you have been an Android user, you may be surprised to know the default calculator application on iOS never offered the calculation history. That's something which is basic need for any user who is using a calculator, but iOS never bothered to offer this basic feature. But now on iOS 18, they finally offered the calculation history, <laughs> which is good to see. Next, the iOS 18 now offers scheduling the text message, which has always been there on Android. If at all you want to send a text message uh, in a future date, we will be able to schedule it on the Android phones and now we can do that on the iOS as well. On the iOS, the settings menu has been quite cluttered. We get to see the system settings on the top and all the application settings were available in this entire list earlier. But now on iOS, we have got a separate tab to open the application list for the app settings. And this has always been there on Android. To access all the app related settings, we had a separate tab on Android and now it is available on iOS. Next important feature is call record. Recorder. The call recorder feature is now available on the iOS 18 and on the Android phones many OEMs offer the call recording feature even Samsung Galaxy phones offer call recording features in some of the countries which is again a great feature to record the conversation. Next iOS added the eye tracking feature in the accessibility settings using which we can navigate the options and select the options by just looking at them and this feature was kind of there on Android uh, especially on the Samsung Galaxy phone if I'm not wrong it is Samsung Galaxy S4 which offered something similar to this but that was not eye tracking we had to nod our head up and down to scroll through the pages but yeah it was kind of there on android now these are some basic as well as advanced features which are now made available on ios 18 on the iphones and these features have existed for quite a while on the Android phones. Now, if you're an Android fan and Android phone user, what are your thoughts about it? Do drop a comment. And if you're an iOS user, let me know what you think. Are you happy about these features? And are you expecting anything more? Drop a comment and let us know. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you're interested in this wallpaper, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can check out all my previous videos as well to download some beautiful looking wallpapers. That's all I have here. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel if you haven't already go ahead hit the subscribe button to become a part of apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salyan signing off cheers bye bye